to sprint in between the blades. Look out for the ones that are spinning. And this is our room. We're going to pull the one and switch in the middle first. There's five switches here. That'll lower block so we can pull a switch for a secret back in the other room. Happening killer gameplays back at you with the 15th video for the training revised. This is Luxor Temple Revisited, and we need to work our way back to the temple and uh, get the artifact and place it to get the ski on. These are some tricky edges here. And after this level, we'll get out of the Egyptian levels and go to Nepal. Uh, we can look over. If we run and jump to the right side, press the action button, she'll slide down. And there's a base over here we can shoot. Get a med pack. And she really has to work to get the artifact in this one. It's quite a level. So we got a lot to do. And we'll drop over to the left. And this is that area I was talking about where in the last level Curtis picked up the secret and she would swim in. So we'll take a right out of here. And the temple straight ahead. There's a, a grating we need to open in the statue to get a bar of silver. Uh, we can't get through the level without getting it. So we'll pull the lever and open it. Just backflip back onto this hand. Cool. So we'll grab this edge and shimmy to the left and pull up into this crawl space. So we need to go back to the room uh, where King Midas dwells and, and turn this into gold. remember where that is from the last video. It's over here. Cool. All 
All right, so we won't. We're not going to use that immediately. Uh, we need to open up a gate. And there's a few things that have changed in this revised edition. And to get to this block, we can use this way. And there is another way we can use. I'll show you. It's pretty easy. This block right here. And this grating straight ahead is we need to raise it up. We'll use that bar of gold. But first we need to climb this pole. And backflip to a switch. So we'll get positioned right about in here and backflip. Now this lever here raises a grating that I I don't actually use. There's a easier way. Uh, to get to where to that grating, I'll show you in a little bit. This is the one we want. It'll open up a gate to get into another area. that wasn't in the training episode zero and we can just drop right here fall right into a, the water so we'll check out this new area that Donald's added here some ammo right around the left here. And there's a ceiling switch over here. Then we pull up into this cool room. There's a receptacle for a cross, so we'll have to get that, and a couple of vases we can shoot for some ammo. One here, and one over here. And there's a lever we can pull that's going to release four skeletons. So we need to get the shotgun equipped. And we want to put some distance between us and the skeleton, so we'll pull the switch, backflip, spin, and flip around, get out the shotgun, and just keep backing up and shooting. If you try to jump over them, you'll catch on fire. This is the easiest way to do it. And it may seem like it's they're never going to die, but they will. Just keep shooting. Uh. There we go. Now, one of these dropped a cross, so we need to try to find it. And it's kind of hard to see in this dark room. So we'll light a flare. And just keep looking around.
There it is. So let's go investigate the room they came out of. Got some coffins in here. Cool room, cool designs. We'll pull up in this crawl space, light a flare, and check out this other room. Get some ammo here, and it'll open the door. So that's it in here. Let's uh, place the cross. Huh? And this is where we'll use the bar gold to raise that main grating. that I showed you earlier. It'll open the gate too. Actually it'll open two gates. So we'll have to check that room out as well. And before I forget there's a couple of vases we can shoot. One of them has a large med pack. It's the one over here to the left. Cool design in here. I like it. And we'll work our way back to the temple. So let's go in that uh, one gate that opened. There was two that opened. We'll get to this first one. And the purpose of these two rooms that we have to check out, there's two gates that we need to open to get the artifact. So we'll get one of them open in this area. There's a couple of chains we need to pull. We'll go around this gate and time out this these spikes. Pull this chain. And one more round to the left to raise a block. Well, the main chain that we need to pull is up above. So we'll climb up on this block we raised. There's a couple of pickups up here. And we'll go up even higher to the chain we need to pull to open one of the gates to get the artifact. And these uh, star-shaped patterns on the floor are spikes that will trigger if you step on them. So we're going to try to time out this, these spikes. And it's a good idea to save. Let's get over to the right, time them out. That's pretty good. We'll go with that. 
Over here's our chain we need to pull. We had to go through a fire trap though. And I figured out a pretty easy way to do that. We're just going to walk up to the edge. And when the fire that's closest to you goes out, hit the roll button. And when the one in front of you goes out, just jump forward. You want to be next to the wall though when you do that. Here's our chain. Gate number one. Just repeat the process. And we'll jump forward and quickly get down. If we go over to the left, we can drop down in some grass and avoid any damage. Here's a med pack we can get. And cool, man. That's the first gate. We got one more to do. And it's even harder. And when we come to the this exit here, uh, grading will raise, and I'm going to show you something. The grading we raised earlier is up here on this pillar, and it's supposed to help you get to that that uh, main grading we raised. But there's an easier way to do it. We're just going to angle, get a full run and jump, grab this block over here. Just like that. Much easier. Then we can just jump up, grab. Now there's a chain we can pull for a secret in this next area. And it's kind of hard to get to. So I'm going to save progress here before I try to jump. Oh, she flipped around. Let's try it again. And you have to get just perfect with the right angle so she can get a full run and jump or a half tile jump. There we go. That's what we're trying to do. Pull the chain, open a, a room for some secrets. So that's what we'll start with when we get in there. There's four levers we have to pull to open the next gate to get the artifact. So that's what this whole area is about. And we'll swim in here and get this part started here. This is the room that we need to go up in. There's a lever up here we can push and get it get it going. Alright, so he says there's three levers, and that's kind of misleading. Actually, there's four. Uh, first thing we're going to do is swim and get the secret. Right in here, got a couple of pickups for ammo and a med pack.
Okay, we'll work our way back to that air pocket. There's a med pack over to our right. We're just going to come back and get it separate. Get some air. And we'll go get the med pack. we have the faulty doors that uh, will hang you up a little bit. Sometimes you can time them out just right. But most of the time they'll, they'll hinder you. So back to the air pocket. And we'll get all ready and go after this first switch. This time we're going to go off to the right. Going to swim up, up here, and go to our left. And the first switch is right here. have to swim back to the air pocket. So the next switch is in that same area but further. So we'll just go back the way we went. And I'll show you here what we're trying to do. Uh, in this room over here, there's a block we're trying to raise to get to the chain to open the second gate. So you want to keep this room in mind. the gates down. Should make it interesting. So we'll swim up. And this time we'll go past that switch and go over in this room. And we'll get turned this way and get the switch pulled and go back to the air pocket. Just have to get used to where all the passages are. And memorize it. Alright, did pretty good on that one. There's one more switch in that area. We need to pull. But this time we're going to hook around to the right. And here's the switch. So there's the third one. But we have one more we need to pull. So back to the air pocket again. Good job on that one. 
This next switch is just right around the corner. Right here. This will raise the block so we can pull the chain to open the second gate to get to the artifact. So we'll swim down and to the left and over to the right. And here we go, this is what we've been working for. Now we can get the artifact. We'll just swim straight through, go to the left and swim straight through again and get out of here. And we can just run and jump over to the right, land on a platform with a pole. And I was going to show you here, there's a hand of Midas up here on the right that will turn Laura into gold. So let's do that. Alright, let's get up the pole and get the artifact. Check our inventory here. The Bach cartouche. So the one in the last level that Curtis placed was the Ra cartouche. This one is the Ba cartouche. Let's get up to the receptacle and place it. Open the gate to get the ski on. And this will end the Egyptian levels, like I said. Very cool set of levels, though. A lot, lot going on, a lot of places to die. Pretty challenging. Open the gate. We'll go in here and get the ski on and the level. And move on. So I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. You watch Killer Gameplays. Check me on the next one. Take it easy.
Where's the exit? Well, that's not complicated. My men will come to pick you up from the roof. So you better stay back, because they will explode the whole area. Thanks. After, you're going to have to run and grab the rope that will be attached from a chopper. I'm doing it. But if you mess this up... Don't worry, girl. My men are professional.